Rising Moons, everybody. We're back. We're back at Star Wars Land, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And today, we're going to be building a droid. Uh, it kind of stinks walking around Batu without an astromech droid. Yeah, we have we have to get one. Yeah, and where do you go to get one? You go to the Droid Depot right behind us. So we're in line right now to hopefully obtain a custom droid. Uh, are we going to get a BB-8? Are we going to get a, a R2 unit? Which one are we going to do? You know, we'll figure that out once we get up there. Okay. It'll, the inspiration will come to us. So come with us for this adventure. And by the way, if you like movie stuff, you like theme park stuff, please subscribe to our channel below. Here we go. If you want a droid, you have to get here early because the line stretches pretty far all the way back to Savi's over there. All things considered, this is one of the shortest lines in Batu. But even this line's like 45 minutes. It's worth it for a droid. You gotta wait for the things that you love. She has, she has one of these droid backpacks. I told they're, they're sold out of this. But you can carry the droid around. Look at all the accessories they have for the R2 units. They have like no accessories for the BB. What should we get? Should we get an R2 or a BB? I really don't know. Because I keep, I was, I had my mindset on an R2, but then I keep seeing BBs and I'm like, I kind of want a BB. So here's all the different options for colors of things you can get. There's no green though, which is kind of disappointing. I wanted a green droid, but they do sell these decals, so I'm considering buying a decal pack. Is that bad? No, but that means we have to get R2. Yeah, I do like the clear, the clear helmets, clear heads. Are you ready? They're out of their red I mean, legs. I'm not ready. I don't care about those colors. Okay, yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, so, so what's the game plan here? I know we want a clear head, right? Yeah. So, uh, what kind of clear head do we want? There's an orange. Oh, yeah, there's an orange. I do like the orange, but. I wonder if they have a black clear head. I think they do. Oh, there's one right there. Oh. No, that's R2, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. so now, are we in a, a black or a white? What do you think the, the, the colors, the, the green colors, will look better with? Do you think it'll look better with the black or the white? I feel like white. White? But this is your droid, so... I don't know, I wish I had, like, I wish I could do a poll and see people tell me. Yeah, Peter's very indecisive. I feel like black is more unique. So, so far, what do we have? We have a black clear head, okay. and then we have the, the black body. I mean, should we just go with black wheels? You want black legs? Yeah, you, you want it to match, right? They got black legs, that's black, other fourth leg. Wow, you know what? Coming in here tonight, I did not realize we we're gonna make an all black droid. Are we making a mistake? No, don't question yourself. I just I'm I feel like we're adopting a puppy and we have it in our hands and we're like Yeah. Do we wanna exchange it for that other puppy? <laughs> no, no. Okay, let's do it. I'm committing. Alright. Where do we go here? So see that that's how you put it together. You have the two legs, or the three legs rather, the head and then the body. Oh and there's different, you see the different heads? I see the different heads. So we went with the basic. We're, we're basic except for we went black. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so you guys can put these on when you guys get home. Okay. Or the decal. Terry! Where do you buy the decals? Are they in the store? Yeah. Wow, look at our little, look at our cute little black droid. Just hit that red button. It's not going to get it. Oh, do I have to screw it on? We're building a droid. We are. Kind of. We're, we're waiting for someone to help us build the droid. Yeah. Turns out it's harder. Yeah. We need help. I couldn't do it myself. Oh, you have to drill it? Oh. So, you are, you want to follow the one we do. Okay. 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 And then when you guys are done, just press this little button and we'll come help you. Okay. Okay. So I guess we gotta use this tool. Yeah. Uh, where do you put the personality ship at? Right in here. It's off, so I left him on. So he can interact with some of his friends out of yep. land. So if he moves around, don't Okay, be so scared. we put the legs on. We gotta put the third leg on. And that goes on in go. the bottom. Oh, that just snaps in there. That's pretty easy. Yeah. And then we gotta put the head on. Now we gotta put on these things. I don't know what what oh, colors no. what colors do we want? How many do we need? There's two on each side. And one on um, what would score? White or black? Line it up and screw it in. Um, do black. Uh, black. This right here will show you how to make sure the coils are facing forward. Uh, this will show you how to build the unit. Here's some extra accessories. Extra accessories. Okay, so now we need these little things under here. Right here. Uh, so we need these little round. Yeah. We only have white, blue, or red. What do you think? White or? White. What looks better? The the white or the red? I like white. Good Seems white. like you like red. Let's do white. That's pretty cool looking, right? Yeah, I like it. I like the clear head. And then we're gonna have green decals on it. Okay, so we press this alert tech button, button, and they're gonna come over and help us like turn the R2 on, make it alive. All right, you guys ready? We're ready. Harry! Okay, let's press it. Oh look, uh, priming. Oh, preparing. Format. Oh, he's moving around. Signing. Initializing. Oh, look at him! Our droid is cut. Johnny Five is alive. Oh, I love his little blue. Yes. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Awesome. You guys got a name for him yet? No, not yet. Terrible. I know we're terrible parents. Oh, look at him go! Oh, ah! <laughs> I love oh. his hair. <laughs> I love that you can control his. Look at that, you can control his head. He's super cute. He is super cute. Oh, I love him. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That's for the personality too. Oh. How much is personality show? Pardon me? How much are the personalities? Twelve ninety nine. So your our unit is still gonna be on. So you can interact with some of his friends while he's in the park or in our land. Oh, that's cool. So don't be afraid if he starts making some weird noises. When does he make noises? Like when other So if he gets close to other units or something like that, every now and then. If you like some. <laughs> awesome, go. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, he's talking in the box. I don't know what. Oh, there must be it? just other droids that are around. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can change the personality of your droid. You can make him evil, you can make him 
they used to have, the first day we were here, they had like buttons that you could push and hear what they all sounded like, and it doesn't seem like they have that anymore. Yeah. But um, they have a few different personalities you could, where yeah. does it say like which ones they are? I don't know. Uh, oh, that, that okay. right there means first so order. This is first order. I don't so know. So the black is first order. Purple smuggler, I guess. Yeah. It's also like a smuggler of some kind. And then there's red over here. It's another bad one. Bad one. Is there only bad ones left? I wish these like told you what they sounded like. You know? Yeah, it doesn't really give you an idea. I'm trying to find like where's a resistance one if I wanted to be resistance. Uh, the black one is first order. I don't want him to be first order, so maybe we'll get the gray one, the silver one, because he has some silver on him, right? And that's like, I think, a neutral kind of droid. I have a feeling we're gonna end up buying all these to see what they sound like. <laughs> you think we're gonna buy all of them? Well, what do they sound like? We don't know. What if we don't like it? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's get that one to start. I mean, it's only what? $12.99. Okay, let's go look at the other droid accessories that were over where the entrance to the attraction was. So here they have different color, like, options for him, but they don't have any green, so like, yeah, yeah. who cares, right? We're gonna use the decals. Yeah. We already bought the decals, which you can this buy right what here. I want, what do you want? The little, the little drink holder from Return of the Jedi. How much does that cost? That's only $17.99. This isn't bad. You know, we can make him our servant droid. Do you, you think we should get this? Maybe. Look at how cool that is. Okay, so they also have this, which I think is like all the arms and stuff that can come out of him. That's kind of cool. Little, I think little everything little arm. on that is like stuff you can buy. All the stuff gets pretty costly pretty quick. He, I swear, every time you talk about it, he turns on. If you don't want an R2 or BB-8 unit, you can get an MSE droid, which most people know is a mouse droid. If you watched our video from the opening day, you saw that I bought this DJ Rex. It's a remote control unit, and it also is a Bluetooth speaker. And there's also a C-3PO. I wish you could build C-3PO. Yeah. That'd be cool if they had like, C-3PO versions you could build. I'm surprised that they're not sold out of this Rex. I know. Yeah, I thought that'd be like... Well, it's $150, so maybe it's more money than building your own droid. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, I showed this on the other video, but they were actually selling a life-size R2 unit, fully customizable, for 25,000 credits. And that is uh, no discounts. That doesn't include shipping and uh, allow up to 90 days for delivery. So I'm wondering how much you can customize this remote control R2 unit. It's basically the next best thing to owning one from the movies. It lights up and it uh, has like a metal head. It's pretty damn cool, but $25,000? I don't, I don't think so. I love the droid details everywhere in the shop. Like even in like, overhead spaces there's just bunch of droid heads everywhere and even like if you look up like there's a fan there but it looks like a jet engine of some kind it's kind of cool imagineering details Do I need to buy a BB unit to join you at home? <laughs> we are now home. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're recording this a few days later. We're here to tell you some, uh, what we thought of the whole experience. So what did you think about building uh, Dread? Like, what did you think of the whole process? Uh, you know what, I <laughs> I wasn't that excited to do it, to be honest, because I felt like $100 was kind of a lot of money. 
And I think our droid turned out really cool, but the process compared, compared to building a lightsaber is like night and day. Like it was yeah. chaotic. It, there was no like... It didn't, I, I, I expected it to feel like it was like gonna be like a show. Like yeah. almost like uh, Ollivanders or um, the lightsaber experience. Like, I mean, you're paying hundred dollars. That's yeah. more than you pay. I feel long. like nobody really helped us. Like there was like parts yeah. where we were just standing around, like, what do we do? And like, I don't know. It, it was really fun though. I'm happy with the end product because this is way cooler than I initially thought it was going to be. Are you trying to say that you don't want this guy? No, I love him. What I'm trying to say is, is that we have a bunch of droids already, so I was like, do we need another droid? But yeah, yeah it turns out we do. Um, what, what do you think of the functionality? Because we drove him around a little bit. Uh, it, it works really, really well. We took him down Main Street. We haven't introduced him to the dogs yet, though, so I don't know what they're going to think. But I, the quality of it, it, it looks cheap, but it, it, it functions well. Yeah, people were really impressed by seeing him drive down Main Street. Um, the I wanted to let you hear what he sounds like uh, without the the chip inside. We bought that like personality chip. Yeah. Sounds like. So he basically sounds like R two D two, right? Yeah. And you can control his head. You can make him go forward, backward. You can make <laughs> oh my him turn God. Around. Um, okay, so. What, the thing is, you buy this personality chef. This personality chef is twelve ninety nine. I think it is. Just like the Kyber crystal, twelve ninety nine. Yeah, and you open this little door right here, and you put the personality chip right in. There. Close the door, and now your droid has a completely different personality. Oh, I forget which one did we end up. We got picking? one of the smuggler. What do you think? I like his voice. This is the first time I'm hearing it, so this is. It's cute. I, I like that he has a personality. Um, the other thing we well, didn't this, get this makes this makes me want to like buy more. Buy more. I know yeah. it's a Wait, it's a whole again. of money more. that you're going to spend here. Yeah. Uh, we there's another button on this remote right here. That button up there on the top, and it doesn't do anything for our droid because we didn't get any of the powered accessories. There's some accessories. Oh, that's what it's for. that when you plug in here, like guns or the boosters, it'll make extra noise if you if you buy the powered accessories. What do you think about the decals? I think they're a really cool idea because there's not that many colors of the droids, so it's fun to like change the colors. But and this guy looks good if you're like standing up and you're a couple feet away. Yeah, from like him. in this video, I feel like he looks really good. But no offense to you, you kind of put them. You know, how okay. You get, like, let me show up close. You get like this. air bubbles in the stickers. Yeah. I don't know, it just looks kind of janky up close. I don't love the ones on the head, but on the body, I think it looks. Pretty cool. The, the other thing I, I didn't like about that is I expected there to be decals to replace like all these like little parts, like the thing around the eye and stuff like that, and there isn't. It's it's really just it's decals just... for like the little doors. Okay, the other things we got is these <laughs> these accessories. Uh, you can put this thing on his head. You can. Oh, I don't love how that's blue. Yeah, but you can. Um, we got these like little arms that can go in here, basically. Let's show you there. So they don't do anything. It's just like... Okay, so the only ones that function are like the little like flamethrower ones? Yeah. And then we also got the this set right here that you liked when we, when we... Which one? Oh, yes. Okay, so my favorite out of all of them is Return of the Jedi, when R2 is like the little waiter for Jabba. I haven't tried this. So, so I um, thought this was really cool. How does this even work? Okay. So All right, so it turns out that this thing is very delicate. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> yeah, why is he making noises? I don't know. But oh. I feel like we need to like super glue this together because it kept falling apart when we were trying. Oh, so and then you put the cups on each of the cups. Uh, I ooh, I don't trust this. Ah, he would get the cups and serve. Oh. Was this worth twenty four ninety nine? Or oh, uh, seventeen ninety 
$14.99, sorry. I don't know. I'm not, like, it would be cool to have him set up like this, but I'm not sure if he's gonna be roaming around with that stuff on. No, it's for display. Was it worth it? I think so, because like I said, this was my favorite movie. Uh, it seems for like, especially for a little kid, like we're adults and we're having issues putting it together, so it just doesn't seem like it's very well made. But like as for a prop sitting there, it, it's very cute. I think what I'm gonna do, I don't like these stickers. I think I'm actually gonna pull out, I used to paint uh, board game miniatures. And I think I'm gonna pour it out, pull out my board game miniature paint and start uh, painting him. Yeah. No? I mean, it has to look better than this, this these decals. I'm just... I think we can agree that this droid was worth it for the droid. Maybe not the experience. Yeah, the experience was kind of lackluster. And I can't, you can't really tell in our video because I tried to edit around it, but it was really hectic. Like, we couldn't get the attention of any of the droid builders. Yeah. It, like, didn't feel like we knew what we were doing. Like, And I feel like they were, like, rushing us. Yeah, it wasn't a Disney That's experience, but... Yeah. But I mean, there's a line down the block, so they're gonna be selling tons of these little guys. They already sold out of those backpack things. Yeah. Oh, we should say these guys interact with other things in the land, like other droids. Yeah, when we first got him, like I said, I think we're, we're going again soon. We're gonna bring him back and test it out more. But like when I was just walking around, cause I was in charge of carrying him for yeah. some reason. He was just like making noises, like randomly, like throughout the land. Yeah. It was really cool. If you see other droids, they'll communicate a little bit making noises if they come in contact with the first order or like if it's a resistance droid he'll be like scared yeah i mean you say we're gonna bring this back to galaxy's edge and try them out but like that sounds like a, a pain in the butt to me not if we have the backpack well, we don't they're so loud <laughs> we'll get the backpack eventually and then i mean we gotta have it react i want to see like when kylo walks by if it does something you know what i mean you know what we haven't seen yet we haven't seen Gizmo and Pixel react to the droid. Yeah. So far, Gizmo seems pretty unimpressed, but... Well, l l let's do that now and check it out and see okay. what, see how they react. All right. Of course it's stuck. Well, now Pixel wants to play with it. I always... All right, I think that does it for today's video. Please subscribe to our channel. It would mean so much. Yeah, for more adventures to theme parks and movie stuff, yeah, Star Wars like stuff. Star Wars, you like dogs, you like theme parks. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Oh, I should mention, right before we were gonna record <laughs> yeah. this, the batteries on this unit die. The batteries that they're putting into these units, uh, not just this, but the lightsabers too, are very crappy batteries. So. Yeah, we had a, we had a panic attack, because we're like, oh no, we just were talking about it, like, oh, it hasn't broken, and then it did. But it works. Yeah, so. you just need new batteries. Yeah.